will make his mark in the Sydney League. East coach John Lang decided to run with the strong breeze in the first half and it proved to be a very wise choice. It took only one minute for the first penalty for foul play to be awarded. Perhaps not surprisingly, Norse hooker Troy Evans was the culprit. From the penalty, East went on the attack and in a sign of things to come, Rob Rattieri walked through some atrocious defence from captain Neil Wharton and Elordi to draw first blood for the Tigers. Straight from the kickoff, East were on the charge again, and inexplicably, the Devils' defence was almost non-existent. The faster East forwards made easy ground going from dummy half, while Norse looked like they were playing tiddlywinks. From this mistake, just outside Norse 22, East threw the ball wide into howls of Shepherd from Devil supporters. Promoted centre, Greg Street, fed Mark Wilkes, who made it 8-0. It was Billy Dart's turn to try and inspire the Devils, but the former Sydney first graders' words went with the wind. Three minutes later, East crossed again, with Wallen throwing the final pass to give Street his try. It was obvious Norse coach Tommy Radonikus wasn't about to give up smoking, with his side performing like third graders. In fact, this wobbly piece of attack movement in the 20th minute by Wharton and winger Brad Foster was the first time Norse had made it into East territory. The movement went nowhere, East took control once again, and from this charge, Lock Darren Windmill went over after a set move from a scrum penalty. For North, the sorry tale continued, and East took every chance offered with relish, Kurt Wrigley getting in on the show just before half-time. That made it 26-0 at the break, and while Radonikus must have been hoping it was just a bad dream, the East players received a rousing ovation for a near faultless first half display. Well, they could have all made... Runs from the ruck by Crosby kept the Devils going backwards. But Norse did finally get near the Tigers' try line, and it was the hard-working second rower, Ian McKenzie, who completed a neat set play. Oh, 26-6, and the Norse supporters may have been hoping for a big comeback, but that notion was buried in the 55th minute. The dashing try by Crosby was left to go his merry way as Norse defenders focused on his supports. <laughs> Although up 32 points to six, East coach John Lang was still working out how to improve the formula. With the match well and truly lost, the Devils started getting more ball. With that, the opportunities came and replacement halfback Doug Belford grabbed his after an incisive burst by Cleary. The Devils were to cross for two more tries, firstly through Dart and then by Cleary to make the final scoreline 32-22. This was clearly not a fair reflection of the game, each totally dominated every aspect of the match. <laughs>